all right good afternoon guys well today on the show we are going to split this pile right next to me firewood uh we're gonna use a few tractors and i also got a new work machine in the yard which you're not gonna see which is behind you until later we'll discuss what that is how i got it and what i did to it um what else Oh, we got some mail. I got a few stickers to put on the uh, splitter. So we're probably going to use a splitter. I won't be using this by hand. I was saving it for hand splitting, but we're going to use the yard machine uh, splitter because, and just because. So let's get at it. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> The landlord. This landlord is uh, made by Simplicity. Let me set this beer down. Uh, this is made by Simplicity, and here's the story behind this one. My good friend of mine, buddy, he uh, had this, I think, in his barn for, he said, 15, maybe plus years. And uh, he got it from a job, I think, a payment for a job. He never started or got anything to do with it. He gave it to me to have. I had it for two years in my shop basement. And this year I decided, well, I'm gonna tackle it. So I pulled it out. Wife says, where'd you get that? I said, I had it stuffed behind the bat and this and that. So 16 hours I got in this thing and the landlord, she rolls. Now let's go over it. Tires could be new. They do hold air. We'll talk about this real quick uh this comes up shows you the rear end stuff and all that brakes pulley attachments here's the main drive right here three speed reverse it didn't have no sparks i went into the points condenser carburetor was uh junk i had to drill out the uh, emulsion tube jet to a 5 24 is what i used we put a new uh, emulsion tube and jet in that. Made my own gasket, cut the gasket out for the carb. Uh, sprayed air cleaner, you can see that. Everything worked good there, it started up and ran fine. Uh, welded on the lights, because they were just flopping around like a bobblehead. Put a little rubber under there, bushing. What else did I do? Oh, he gave me this implement the next weekend. So I was able to fit the uh, plow on. Which you can see right here, three position. Just move this nut over turn it manually and we didn't have this arm so this is three quarter hot roll and i welded some bolts on because they have flat ends a couple washers drilled it and pinned it and that gave me my arm to do this now i'm functional what else Oh, the hood wasn't on it. I don't think it fit perfect, but I drilled some holes down low for certain reasons. And I removed the steering wheel. Let me show you that. I made this removable so I could lift the hood, because otherwise we got a problem. So I just welded the key on real quick, tacked it on. If you need to put fuel in it, you just pull it up, lift it up. And there's your powerhouse. 10 horsepower uh, Briggs. Got a new battery in it. All these new wires. Yes, I did rip the old wiring harness off. I pulled it right out of there and I re rewired the whole tractor. Nice and tight and neat. Had a new key switch I put in. I put a new solenoid on it. Got the ground right here. Uh, lights are functional now. Let me try that. Uh, different gas tank, I had to drill a hole down here, run the lines, fuel shut off. There's a whole bunch of stuff I did to it. But she's in the yard now and she's working. There you have it. It's a little smoky, but runs real good. 
It is a 1969 landlord. And I did change the oil. Bugs are out. It's about 80, no, I think it's 75 or something here in Western PA. Yeah, there you go. There's the landlord. After about 18 years of no usage, she is now put into service. All right, let's get on with the splitting. Oh, before we do that, I did get some mail. I do got some uh, stickers to put on. So if you stay with me, we'll get them on right now. All right, folks, we got two uh, stickers. Can you see me over here? We got two envelopes here. I'm sure there's stickers in them. We'll do the first one here I got was uh, k &L Firewood. That's Mike at k and I'm sure most of you guys know him. There might be a sticker in here. I believe there is somewhere. Yes, there is. I do like his sticker. It's pretty cool. That's Mike at k and He does all kind of good stuff. He got good equipment over there. So we'll put him on first. Right by Todd's outside again. That'd be T-O-A. What do you think of that? There. Uh-oh. We ain't sticking too good. Uh-huh. I don't know what happened there, but... We got a sticker that don't sticker, folks. But I got a solution for that. Now we got a sticker that sticks. There we go. Good. I got a little grease on you. There you go, Kano. There we go. All right, that's Mike over at Kano. He says, it's so fine, you blow my mind. I had to do that, he says. Excited to get your sticker. Thanks for your channel, Cherry Man. Later, brother. All right, that's Mike at and l next to Todd. And we got one more to do. After a pause. We got another one. This is Life in the 906, another Mike. If you guys haven't seen his channel, go up and see it. He does all kind of firewood and all kind of stuff. Real good. Thanks for sending me a sticker. Mike says from 906. Enjoy the channel. Keep the videos coming. Thanks for your support. Thank you, Mike, for your support. Here, I got a towel this time. I think we're good. To, he's good and stuck on there now. See how this one goes. You gotta put these horsepower stickers on, right? That one, that, this one looks like it's real sticky. All right, it matches that black. I can put him right up next to Mike. Now, Mike, you can keep Mike company. Yeah, that one's on there. Look, it blends in so good, it looks like the sticker. It's just the emblem. Nice. All right, there we go. This is one side, horsepower stickers. Today's Mike can keep Mike company. Next to Todd, he can watch both of them. And we got these ones we had on for a little bit. Of course, Shy, my NRA, Rod at Midwest, Dan, Brad. There's an older sticker for uh, WST, my, another Mike. All right, what do you say we get splitting? We got that done. I haven't fired this up since the last time my boy's over here, so it might take two pulls, it might take 22. We'll find out.
All right, guys. I know this battery's getting low in the uh, GoPro, so I'm gonna finish this up. There's like, what are we, 10, 11 here? This is what we got on this load. And it's going down behind the Chevy. That's where we're gonna stack it. I'm just gonna sell it loose for a uh, loose camp wood. What? guys folks like i said this battery is getting real low in this camera but this is all right here is the same as this this is all going to be sold just for lease campfire wood or whatever but yeah i'll get this unloaded get the rest of that split up there And that stuff behind it is for my own personal campfire wood. That stuff right there is my personal campfire for this fire pit. There's them seats. I finished that one. Look at this. Looks like Shab threw one of his cans down. Shab, were you over here drinking Miller Lite? All right, we'll get these few split up. Like I said, I'm getting low on battery, so uh, you guys take care. Have a good weekend. This is what I'll be doing. All right, catch you on the next one. Take care, folks.